So this is actually a screencast on recording a screencast using ScreenFlow. Uh, let's talk a little bit about ScreenFlow, the screen that you're gonna see right away when you start a new recording. So I have ScreenFlow open, we have this really simple window, and I'm gonna run down what each one of these is, and then after that we're gonna jump in and do an example screencast. So right now it's saying record this desktop screen. And basically what that means is that I have two monitors right now. I'm recording my main monitor. I'm not recording any video, so you can't see me because I just want you to see the screen. I'm using my nice mic, which is the USB audio codec instead of the built-in mic. And then I'm recording the computer audio. So if you hear any of the audio on the computer, like a beep or any noise that happens, you're gonna hear that as well. So all I have to do is click that red button. I'll get this nice little countdown to prepare me for my screencast, and then I'm gonna start. Let's say that we wanna create an example video, or we wanna create a video that points something out to our designer. So I'm gonna open up pinchofyum.com, and I'm gonna go pinchofyum.com slash, and that will open up the blog. And let's say that I wanted to send a note to our developer and say, we want this sidebar to be green. And it, I was having trouble communicating that over uh, text and email, and I was also having trouble communicating that uh, via screen capture. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create this little screencast. So I'm gonna say, hey there, I am creating a screencast for you. I just wanted to show you that we want to turn this whole sidebar area from the top all the way up here, all the way down to the bottom. We want to create that as green. And I wanted to put together this screencast so you knew exactly what I was talking about. So thanks for doing that. All right, we have finished our screencast. So now I'm going to use a shortcut, Shift, Command, and Two, and that stops the recording that we've done. And it opens up ScreenFlow. Now this is really slick because all of the information, the audio and the screen recording is right here. So what I can do is I can just press go, or I can press uh, spacebar, which will start the screencast, and you can see the recording. Now start. Let's say that we want to create an example video, or we want to create a video that points something out to our designer. So I'm going to open up pinchofyum.com, and I'm going to go pinchofyum. Now you can see how slick that is. Now that we have the audio, what we can do is we can scrub through, the audio and video at least, we can scrub through, and we can do something like add a video action. So right here, I might wanna zoom in. So I'm gonna say add a video action, and I'm gonna zoom in to this area right here. So this is what that looks like. That I wanted to send a note to our developer and say, we want this sidebar to be green. And it, I was having trouble If I wanted to, I could also zoom back out. You don't have to know exactly what I'm doing, just an example here so you can see what's possible via screen capture. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create, so pretty slick. That's how ScreenFlow works. Once you're done, all you have to do is say file export. I'm gonna export this as 100% so it's full size. I'm gonna change the name to sidebar change. And then I'm gonna click export. This will send that to the desktop. Now with ScreenFlow, there's a lot of different ways that you can use it. You can use it to communicate with a designer or developer. You can use it to help somebody troubleshoot an issue. You could also use it to create tutorials. Maybe you wanna create some type of course and you wanna sell that information. You can use ScreenFlow to do that. So it's been an app that's really helped us grow Food Blogger Pro, obviously, because we do a lot of tutorials, but it's also helped us grow Pinch of Yum as we've used it to communicate with different people. So that's the quick overview of ScreenFlow. You can see that it's almost done exporting now. It has reached the end. If I shrink this down and then shrink this down, you can see now we have it on our desktop. It's an MP4 file. You can use different files for ScreenFlow, but that's the default. And if I click on this and I start, Let's say that we want to create an example video, or we have our screencast. So that's the quick overview of how ScreenFlow works.